Guys, hello and welcome to probably one of the last videos of 2020. And I'm sure we can all agree that this year was a challenging one, a tough one. Uh, personally, for me as well, I would probably say it was one of the hardest years um, of my life, uh, given all the circumstances and the challenges that I was facing, uh, whether it was with work or personally, but I still want to be remain positive, at least for this video, just wait for the next one. And I wanted to put together the top five flights of 2020. For me uh, personally, it is not ranked by a product or how I rate it. It's more about which flight gave me the most beautiful memories. So it is flights that mean something to me, flights that were very special. So it's not a ranking of airlines or whatsoever, but simply a list of my best flights in 2020. I had 69 flights in total, which was uh, not that many if you compare it to the 101 flights I took uh, last year. However, there were still a few gems uh, among them and flights which I really treasure. But let's not talk too much. Let's get right into it and let's start with number five. Right now I'm in Hanoi and today I'll be flying Bamboo Airways brand new 787 Dreamliner. Bamboo Airways was my first flight of 2020 and I genuinely believe that this was going to be a great year full of exciting new airlines and adventures. I really loved the new 787 Dreamliner, the new seat and the wonderful set of crew. Even though it was only a short domestic flight from Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh, I could already tell that the airline got very big plans. I'm also glad to see that Vietnam Airlines is finally getting some competition. And uh, also the seat is so spacious, it fits too. <laughs> I don't want to make any predictions for next year, especially after the madness of 2020. But if we are happen to go back to normal sometime soon, 2021 will be the year where you should keep an eye out on Bamboo Airways, because they are going to have a huge impact in Asia soon. And yeah, that was number five, Bamboo Airways. What a challenging time it is to start an airline. Imagine you are very ambitious. They have all, they had a lot of uh, interesting new flights planned. For example, to Prague uh, in April, they had an inaugural flight plan. Unfortunately, it didn't happen because of the pandemic. But I really hope that 2021 is going to be a better year for Bamboo Airways. But yeah, I really enjoyed that flight. All right, but now let's move on to number four. Once again, that was also a very special, very unique flight. Uh, an airline I think is very likable. I didn't even know they existed uh, long before my flight, but I'm glad I tried them out and you should do. So this is my number four. Oh, four. <laughs> um, 28 seats here in business class in a very unique 212 configuration. Welcome on board Air New Guinea, the flag carrier of Papua New Guinea. In February, I went on a little adventure down under. Australia, Fiji, New Zealand and from Brisbane to Port Moresby. My mission? To fly one of the last 767 in the Pacific region. I was totally blown away by the hospitality and professionalism I experienced on board the airline, considering that the country is considered one of the poorest on earth, with over 40% of the population living in poverty. However, the 767 was beautiful, especially the very unique 212 configuration in business class, which was something I didn't come across before. What stood out the most though was the amazing hospitality of the crew and the great catering. Yes, Air New Guinea, what a lovely crew I had on this flight. And that's my time in Port Moresby was uh, very, very enjoyable. So if you ever want to go to Papua New Guinea, uh, put it to uh, your list. It's really worth it and I enjoyed it a lot. But now let's move on. Let's go to flight number three. I have to 
say my heart rate was probably 120. I mean, what? Good luck. <laughs> Yeah, my flight on Vanilla Air into the mountains of Swanetti was amazing. I think that was a good training for what there is to come for me. Hopefully one day I'm gonna fly to Lukla in Nepal, which I heard is even more dangerous, even more adventurous, even more exciting. I think Noel uh, done that trip and yeah, the footage flying into Lukala and the, the whole flight itself, it's definitely something that was on, or is still on my bucket list. And that flight to Svenetti was a very light version. So if you ever go to Georgia, make sure you take that flight if you're an F geek. I very much enjoyed it. And now let's see who is going to be on place number two. It's also time for a new airline, Starlux. Hi there, how are you? So it's pretty much got the whole thing. It is all like brand new, it's all like super fresh. A golden shiny pillow here. It looks very healthy, smells very healthy, so... And then we off to Penang. Tell people that you are on a new startup. Right. Very nice, very classy. Tastes a little old. It looks pretty fancy. Okay, well then Happy New Year, right? <laughs> yeah, Starlux, once again, the same story as Bamboo Airways. What an unfortunate time or year to start an airline. Though Taiwan has been doing so well with the whole pandemic, but unfortunately it didn't help much. But they're flying again and they're very ambitious. They have big birds on order, 350s and their white bodies probably going to be joining uh, their fleet next year. So I wish them all the best and I really think that Starlux, Starlux has a very bright future ahead of them. Generally, Ta Taiwanese aviation, whether it's EVA Air, uh, China Airlines and now Starlux, they have such premium quality uh, carriers and always love flying them. But now, it's time, the moment we've all been waiting for, my very best flight of 2020. My most memorable flight um, is this one, number one. But in fact, I'm gonna take him on a real flight from Paris to Frankfurt. My most memorable flight of 2020 must have been my trip with my nephew Finn. This summer, I took him to Disneyland in Paris, and very little did he know that he was in for a big surprise. He was never been on a flight before, and I made him believe that we only heading to the airport for a fake flight experience. My plan seemed to work, and he boarded the plane and didn't know that we were about to take off for his very first flight. He was a little confused and mad at me in the beginning, but a few minutes into the flight and the beautiful views that came with it, he started to love it. A flight we both won't ever forget. Yeah, that was it. That was my most memorable flight of 2020, solely for the reason that it was my nephew's first flight. We went on our first trip together and we created long lasting memories. Probably in like 20 years, he's gonna hate me for this video, but it was a very memorable, very unique uh, flight, which I'm going to treasure uh, for the rest of my life. Flying has changed so much this year that I think this one is gonna stick uh, with me. When I think about the pandemic, I think this is the flight that I treasured the most. This should be it. And tomorrow I'm gonna publish my worst five flights of 2020. There's going to be quite some good ones. Uh, I'm sure you probably have like a rough idea who could make it into the top five. Um, but I think also with that video, I'm going to end the year uh, tomorrow. So I have some personal notes prepared for you guys. 
ask for my patrons uh, in tomorrow's video. So if you don't want to miss out, now you know the top five. If you don't want to miss out on the worst five flights of 2020, subscribe right now. Or if you are subscribed, why don't you go and check out the notification bell here. Uh, turn it on and then the second I post a video, uh, you will get a notification and then you can watch it. Guys, this should be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think uh, or what was your favorite video or review of mine in 2020. Let me know in the comment section right now so I get an idea what you like and what kind of content I, go th I can go to create in 2021 when things go a little bit back to normal. You guys stay safe and see you tomorrow.